for him, he'll abdicate his throne As the father of the crime bill, Sola Jim Crow Proud to live and vote as a Strom Thurmond clone If he tried to kiss your daughter with a camera rolling He'll try more than kissing her alone Cozy up with Jill for a photo like a portrait of the Kissingers at home You know I hate to kill the messenger But if he's gotta go, we can FaceTime And slit his throat while he stares into the phone Like if you don't know, kitten, now you know this is where austerity has gotten us This is all that palpable excitement for a 20 year wait Unforgiveness for your student loans But a distraction's a distraction and it's time to see some action So here's one last song for Joe Before I try to keep his name out of the lyrics in my phone Try to shift the focus to our senators and everyone in Congress Who was all too happy to be hidden while we're wasted to the bone it is not food insecure, it's starvation, and it lurks in almost half the country's homes. So if you plan to lay it out, hold your nose and vote for Joe, have the guts to admit that you chose to submit, and that you decided lending your support to a pedophile must be a step towards hope. Then a vote for a man that spent his whole life implementing laws that dehumanized people of color is a vote against fascism. When you know damn well he's just a kinder, dumber face on the same white nationalism. So baby, throw away your scruples with the memories of your activism. Watch your weak resistance usher in a fucking cataclysm. Elect a bigot war pig and say you're gonna push him into pacifism. <laughs> That's some bootlicker Stockholm hostage liberal masochism. <laughs> bootlicker Stockholm hostage liberal masochism. Baby, that's some fucking bootlicker Stockholm hostage liberal masochism. <laughs> God, that's some fucking bootlicker Stockholm hostage liberal masochism. <laughs> that's some fucking... I was front row in my AOC t-shirt Foie gras sucking on a press release, sir My head down, fourth shot, good little sheep, sir Sit down, sweetie, the adults are gonna speak first They trust the science and they're terrified of research Here to thank our healthcare heroes They've been feeding to the burnout, feet first Until suddenly they dip mid-shift Take a header off a bridge, such a shame They were really such a sweet nurse now they'll never get the card and the cold slice of pizza meant to thank them for their teamwork. Now they'll never get the baggie full of checks mix, which would be the one reward they'd see for the moms they had to intubate. And the countless cries of grief since we've been haunted by the specter of the C word. Now all the applause for our healthcare heroes rings a very hollow note because we played it out like Freebird. See, add the ones and zeros in our fragile checks and balances or checks for all the wealthy who have such unholy talents that we think it's patriotic that we all got zero balances and re-elect Pelosi so she'll face our toughest challenges. <laughs> Which is analogous to water for a drowning man. Nancy disregards our impoverished with a spiteful and dismissive little waving of her withered hand. Cause half a million freezing on the streets is Biden's winter plan. <laughs> And I bet you swore they told you you were voting for a different man. But really all you wanted was a different man. It didn't make a fucking difference if he finishes the previous inhabitant's agenda and starts auctioning protected land. Biden's born to leap at any war a donor's check demands. Turns out that you can't cure greed once it infects a man. Once they lose respect for human life and focus all their fucking efforts on the oil baron rescue plan. Honey, what are we to Hecuba or Hecuba to us that if she's starving, we should give a damn? Why should we be moved to tears if someone isn't eating? We won't even recognize that food is essential to our being. It's just us and motherfucking Israel who will not guarantee that food's a basic human right. Because starvation is our favorite tool of genocide disguised as sanctioned democratic healing. That's me in the corner, losing my religion, gouging out my eyes and then dancing on the ceiling. Jesus fucking Christ, what a feeling. Hey, what about you, eyeballs? What did you see?
Sunday morning. We gotta go hot mics. Hi everybody, it's Indy. Oh, and it's Shetty. Oh mic. my god, what's going Hi. on? I forgot to switch the thing. We were looking at Black Street. What's going on, man? <laughs> okay. I'm a little high. That's what happens early on before a show, and we've got eighteen thousand buttons and things to push and things happening. What's up, dude? Drugs, Indy? You're doing drugs during what? the show? No what? It's it it is legal where I live now, so it's it's all good. What what drugs? What drugs? How oh. dare you? How dare you? It's highly unprofessional Wait, of you. What? Oh, oh, look at that. So I oh, just we noticed. Have fun here. Okay. <laughs> we do have fun here. So I just noticed something. So we're gonna do something hmm. on the fly that in here, your your little uh transparent little guy over here. Is that yeah, yeah. okay? For some reason the, the chat is not oh, really working right. because my thingy is over there, my uh, thingy. The uh, the logo the bird is over there and it's kind of in the way of the chat so it's kind of hard to see and I oh, am let's slide this over and see if we can slide that up and that's a little better yeah looks good to me all right <laughs> hey, everybody oh, look at that. okay so this is hi everybody how you doing <laughs> ha, ha. Yeah, ha. 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 hi everybody that's right you gotta do the the harry carry here uh, my friends call me whiskers because i'm curious like a cat oh uh, dude i love will ferrell's character it's so oh, good man. that's just it's so good oh. um how are you bud we almost didn't um, do this tonight we almost were like you know what should we just take a, take a week off like everyone else? But you know what? We're not going to let YouTube win. We're not going to let the man keep us down. Nope, nope, nope. Screw you, screw you, YouTube. Um, 
INN did we get my duties if I laid down and just let you know. Let's take a night off. <laughs> yeah. So... Well, lots of people did decide that they wanted to take that night off, but um, INN and got a take time. We love you. INN got a copyright or a content strike for uh, a video that we uploaded for our friend Joe, and um, <clears throat> uh, that's going to happen when you challenge imperialism and you put up and you and you show the. The Nazis that are in Ukraine, and well, that's going to happen still sometimes. In drafts, though, correct? Wasn't it still in drafts? I, I I think somebody actually had hit publish at about five in the morning. I don't know who. It uh, might have been me. I might have done it in my sleep. I might have woken up and done it for all I know. But somebody <laughs> seemed to. It made it. It made it over to Odyssey somehow, so it wouldn't have backed up to Odyssey if somebody hadn't hit publish. And about within, I think about twenty eight minutes after it hit publish, somebody hit publish. It just went. Yeah, that's not cool, and they restricted it and. I woke up in the morning or the next day I tried to publish another one of Joe's videos, uh, which was the Sam Cedar versus versus um Jank Uger, which one loves Jimmy Dore more. Oh yeah. And I, wouldn't, and I couldn't publish it. And I'm like, wait, what, what what's going on? And like, oh content something. I was like, wait, what? Oh wow. So yeah. Um, but that's okay. We're live on the Rock Fins. We're live on Rumble. We're live on Odyssey. We are live on my uh Indie Left News uh YouTube channel, which has Yep. Decent number of subs on it too. Um <clears throat> but Dazed. INN got a ninety day content strike where apparently, according to all our friends, uh, that they that we won't be able to uh, live or upload for a week. Um mm. and and we'll see how, how that goes and hopefully they'll let us back on. But uh yeah. <laughs> Joe was like, Yeah, the Nazis are bad and okay, yeah. Nine nine, that's right. Uh, <laughs> that's right, Cynic. Uh, Kit Cabello, what's up, dude? Uh, I, I saw you were here before. If not now, uh, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you for supporting INN. Uh, we know you're always there to support the people who are uh, suspended, demonetized, platformed, it's, you know, deplatformed, etc. It seems to happen to everybody yeah. every week these days. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to go to the description now, and I'm actually going to read it. it for everybody else because this is... <clears throat> American tradition on usually INN and on every other network it's on INN. Um, American tradition every airs every other Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, tonight is episode 10, which is a the virus rep retrospective, and that is again I'm reading the description a look back at the album that started it all, the virus, with readings and performances of several tracks and an in-depth discussion of the creation and political landscape at the time. Join us as we return to the year of our Lord 20. Fucking 20. <laughs> I love it, man. And uh, shout out oh, to Big Mad Crab for the thumbnail, our, our, our creative director there for, <clears throat> for the artwork as always. And he was out at Camp Dada and and want to want to celebrate and, yep. and give credit to all the ladies and, and all the participants that went out to the Hamptons and and roughed it and camped out in the wilderness out there, even though it was the Hamptons, they were camping. That was hardcore yep. tenting and oh, yeah. outdoor cooking, and they were doing fun stuff. And I was following them all weekend. Uh, all weekend, it seemed like it was a, it was a great time. Again, Big Mad Crab was out there with the Bank Sisters, Savvy Sabs, and a bunch of others. Blue Moon, Red Wine, Lucy was out there. So. How you been, man? Uh, and again, it feels like it's been like a year and not two weeks in some ways. And it feels like another time, like right. I just blinked and it was two weeks. It was like, holy shit, it's already two weeks. So, I, I yeah, it's weird. Oh, I've been good, man. I've been working on a lot of a lot of new stuff. I actually have uh, four, four or five um, different instrumental pieces going on right now. One of them that I've got got words and uh and chorus and everything ready to go for it's got to get recorded in the next few nights so um i probably will end up doing a double release again and have uh, an ep of songs and then uh, a spoken word album because as is i've got probably seven spoken word pieces one of them's you know what 16 or 17 minutes with the co-op Right. So, uh, so there's a full spoken word record right there. So I want to have a, want to have another uh, music project to throw out with it. And so far, the stuff I have put together is either really jazzy or really like, dare I say, danceable. Like there's some there's some ass shakers here. 
Um, <laughs> and it's it's really fun to put to put what I usually do over something that's like uh, super catchy and listenable. There was one song I was working on, and all of a sudden, I I heard this little bass line in my head, and I was like, no, but I did, and it's it's just funky it's this very fast funky bass line that all of a sudden just really really changed tones i'm like why not like i i'd mentioned to you before there was a, a clip um i heard the press secretary say the other day that you know when you are not with what the majority of americans think mm. that's extreme that's an extreme way of, of thinking and so i really want to call uh my next record uh Everyone who doesn't agree with you is an extremist and other fanciful tales. <laughs> and other so... fanciful tales. Yep. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> yep, Camp David's looking nice, according to Reef, Reef who's, oh, who's checking in. Um, we just lost you for a second. Uh, I'm having spotty, weird internet. I don't know what's going to happen. We're hoping this thing's going to hold. Um, right. I don't know if this is like an Omen YouTube internet whatever <laughs> somebody's yelling at us like dude Cutting you guys down. i don't know what's going on in here but we're gonna we're gonna do our best to to rock out and have some fun um tell some stories like like where you said story yep. time with jesse and, and we're gonna play some tunes and have a good time on american tradition i'm so psyched for this again me too last the last episode was so good okay where we went through all the spoken word pieces the new pieces and then you just ripped out uh, the Geiger age, like just threw out a, 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 a 50s so album, a doo -wop album, just pulled that out of nowhere. Like, Hey, I didn't even know you were going to do that. That was and a blast. There it was. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to keep this shit going. Yeah. I love it. Right. So why not? Let's do it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. So quite a few pieces from the virus I've, I've played before on the show. And then I was thinking about the ones that I haven't. And there's a few that I couldn't believe I haven't. Um, and so it seemed like, a you know, what what better time to I just missed the uh, the two year anniversary because that would have been the spring. Um, but it was all all 24 of those songs were written between March and May. It was, you know, I, I did town hall and came to Twitter and started shopping it around. And what's funny is if I look back. I guarantee you there are probably 30 or more likes and retweets on town hall from people that now have me blocked or muted or on. It's the Twitter block I mean, list now for town hall. I love on, it. You know, there were people that, that shared that song and we were, you know, uh, bernie supporters that was that was the extent of it we saw where right. we were headed and us bernie people were banding together and uh that was before 50 different events that were made to splinter us up into sub factions and sub factions and sub factions and uh once i got the response i did with town hall i'm just you know did a couple more and uh then i couldn't stop i mean the next couple things were Poor daddy, primary huh? primary and smear campaign because I was watching the primaries happen and watching Bernie already start taking a step back, Joe get aggressive and all these these places start reporting numbers for Joe and I'm like Joe Biden? Joe fucking Biden? Are you serious? Like then it starts making sense like oh this and, isn't some uh, flu. Like, then I couldn't stop. They're going to, to fucking force on us now. This is the uh, this is the the what we're getting. This is our lesser lesser evil and very quickly it became write a song about today's event today's discourse mix it the next morning if it mix it i, I lowercase m on the word mix there and uh and then the next night there was something else to write about and i was writing something else and you know everything was exclusively recorded in the car and i'll, I'll now record right here at, at camp david but um when i was recording in the car it did. It felt like a road trip. I mean, I'd go cram in there. And when I did something like speaker of the house, like I'd sit, I'd take my Nancy Pelosi sample, clip it out, piece it all up, um, put the beat together, start recording vocals, mix it. And I'd be out in the car for five hours 
and it would, I'd get out sometimes and it felt like I was on a road trip. I'd be uh, stretching. My legs were all like give out and creaky and shit. <laughs> but I, that was, that was the time, you know, um, I'd, I'd work and then we'd, we'd get our kid to bed and I'd tell my wife, all right, I'm going to make a pot of coffee and I'm going to go out to the car and record. <laughs> that was, yeah. Like I said before, that is not a, a pace I was able to, to keep up right. beyond that first record that was uh, for my own sanity. I couldn't keep up with the discourse every day. In fact, there's a song and it's, it's now um, even further back in people's collective memory, but the song chips on the virus uh, was a, a short piece. I did it and tumors on the same day and chips was inspired by an event um, where there was a man who reportedly was stealing a bag of chips in Walmart um, black and uh, police showed up and shot him and he bled out on the floor in, in Walmart and everyone stood around and filmed it. And it was maybe a day later that there was the video of that cop in California who had the like 14 year old kid on the ground and was like beating him. And so the guy that got shot in Walmart was was already old and it was, didn't even make it 36 hours in the news cycle. And so I put that song out and people are, were asking, who, who are you talking about? Because I said, somebody, you know, tell me why someone has to die for chips or someone, man getting shot over chips. And uh, it was already, it was already gone. And it just hit me then like, man, we really do. We, we, it's not even like people forget about it. They, it's hard to keep up because there's, a dozen different events like that in the next two days. That was just, you know, um, and I'm, I'm sure it's always been like that, but 2020, especially uh, coming into political Twitter and getting used to seeing what was happening every day around us. And it really uh, hitting me and that happening at the same time as I'm watching uh, our government just hang us out to dry and, give us Joe Biden. I don't know who could witness that and not feel radicalized for lack of a better word. Um, so yeah, yeah it, it well, very, well, very quickly the tone of the song started changing and it was like, I didn't know when I was going to stop. I just knew every day there was something to write about. And then I stopped and I took a breath and I looked and I had 24 songs and an hour and a half worth of music. I was like, okay, I need to put this out so I can move on to making songs for something else, or this is going to be like a three disc fucking, you know, a never I, ending I thing until November, basically is, exactly. what, is what would end up exactly. happening. And, you know, it's really funny yeah. because that's, that's when I started a aggregating and amplifying independent news. And I'm like, Bernie's getting knife because of corporate media. We need to like, yeah. let everybody know that like, this is all bullshit. And 96% yeah. of what everybody's seeing is all bullshit. And come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Come on, really? Uh, Joe, Joe, like you said, Joe, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, that guy. Yeah. Like, and I literally said today, the guy that nobody wanted, and the VP candidate uh -huh. in Kamala that couldn't even make it out of uh -huh. December, but somehow yep. they're you know they're the, the anointed candidate who's so unpopular and so disliked she couldn't make it out of December. Those are the ones yeah. that end up making it through. It's like, wait, what? Yep. Okay. Yep. The whole exactly. thing is fucked. So, yep. uh, as, as Misty would say, we're fucked. <laughs> we need that queued up right next to Keith. somewhere. So, so well, actually, uh, Reef has the MP. He's got it on his soundboard. You gotta have him send it to me. Reef, send me, send me over kitty. Misty. Going, we're fucked. I'll let it to sound to Stream Deck right now. I can't. I can't invoke the kitty and not hear the kitty. Can I get a Warren? Oh, oh, <gasps> kitty! At all times. There it is. We need, we need we need war and kitties at all times. Oh, for man, sure. So good. All right. So we are all over right. on rockfin.com slash INN. We are over at um, twitch.com slash indie news network or twitch.tv. We're on Twitter. We're on odyssey.com slash indie news network. I think it's like a colon nine, but just search indie news network on any of these platforms. You'll find I N D I E. But all right. You got some Bandcamp songs. I got a screen loaded up. If you want to show the, the lyrics, great. If you don't, you know, I let's don't think do we... it. Yeah, let's show, let's show lyrics for everything. Okay. Um, 
Well, then they won't see you playing, but. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, I guess we'll just do it for uh, the spoken uh, word. word Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into um... (laughs) Charlie Mack. Had a birthday. There he is. Big Uh, Mac Crab. There they are. What's going on? Uh, They found the alerts. We're going to kick it off with Hookie, I think. Nice. Okay. This well. this was a very oddly uh, mm, uh accessible song, but it, it felt it felt right um considering the, the context. This was that kind of ode to the people that were really uh insulated from the news during quarantine that used it to just play some games and catch up on shows and not that weren't watching the political shit show and uh especially animal crossing it started with (laughs) aoc aoc playing animal crossing with everyone and everyone talking about the price of turnips half of my feed was turnip price commentary and half of it was the primaries and people standing out you know in the rain for 11 hours um oh goodness yeah i remember that uh, yeah <laughs> yeah, so this was a this was a short little number off of the virus. This is called a hooky. <laughs> feels like there's no time wake up and then you blink it's last night and i won't lie i think this is our new life and i don't mind just happens in between the battle scenes to keep your mind wake up and then you come around the band to see the ends another starting line and i won't lie i've been playing hooky from the truth a long time and i don't mind See, life is but a dream until the dream is just your life. Everything is blurry in between the vis queen set pieces on a vacant sound stage where there once played day to day monotony and minute of a different time. And that's a far cry from a tall glass meant for wine full of cheap gin over Patsy Klein. But that's a story for another night. Tonight I want to disconnect and feel the full effect of being someone only stressed about a turn up price. I look outside, read one headline, eat, drink, sleep, internalize. Maybe sprout a tumor with the stress that I suppressed when I hung up that sign that said only good vibes. Like a dog in a fire thinking this is fine. Hoping someone's thinking for me because I can't decide. But who could blame Mother Nature fantasizing our infanticide? No, our infanticide. Everyday life just feels like there's no time. Wake up and then you blink it's last night. And I And I don't mind Don't mind And I don't mind And that's hooky. Ah, that's pretty. Uh, You know what? I, I listened to it earlier on Bandcamp, or uh, I think I might have even been Spotify, and it, it's it got like a graininess to it that obviously you can't 
necessarily replicate because it's got some kind of an effect over it. Yeah. You can you can hear. I kind of something like I only tried once, where I essentially um, the whole mix for that song, aside from the vocals, gets faded in and out slightly. So the vocals stay kind of right in front, but the entire mix, drum and bass and everything, kind of get this um, just a little bit of a, a soft fuzz filter that I just kind of do in waves. So yeah, the mix swells in weird parts. That's it's not, I didn't do that with anything else, but it felt right for Hooky since lyrically it was this kind of dreamy, like someone just enjoying quarantine and, you know, I'll go back to work soon. I'm going to play some Animal Crossing and order a bunch of DoorDash and just that there was this whole other life people were, were living, whereas my quarantine was just political obsession. It was falling down this this rabbit hole and watching watching all the riots and watching things go to shit and uh and then i had friends that were just like man i spent the whole weekend watching the new season of stranger things and i'm like i can't even watch tv anymore because it's all fucking propaganda like that was just the beginning of, <laughs> of me branching off you know it was... oh that, that, that sounds red pill <laughs> you just you, you just literally exactly. named red pill okay yeah I'm. I feel you. Uh, I. I was not Ooh, there um, yet. I mean, I wasn't watching that. I was watching Richard for sure. Um, nice. Uh, Reef just sent me the Misty. <laughs> Let's see if I can. If I'm that really good, and I can get that on. Oz, welcome to the stream. How are you, sir? Always good to see my brother Oz. All right. So the first thing I need to do is save that file. There it is. Cool. So you are, you got a, you got a bunch more songs here. We have the songs. I do. Um, I dude, it, you you sent me the list that you were thinking about playing, and I, I went through this. And again, it is a twenty four song album that was written <laughs> over two months in a period where we were all locked up. Everybody had to figure out what the hell to do with themselves, keep themselves productive, busy, yep. and have an outlet to figure out how do we deal with this lockup, yeah. lockdown virus thing that we've never experienced before in our lifetimes. Um, and the government, you know, again, if you watched any of Jimmy Dore's streams, we actually just went back and mm -hmm. we were watching one of his his April 1st stream, which is, is legendary. It's right after the CARES Act, and um, he's got Chris Smalls on. He also had interviews a labor leader about, like, so what are we going to oh, do? Yeah. And the guy basically, and it's not even the one with Jerry um, from, but it's just a different guy, and the guy's just like, basically like, ah, you know, we're looking for masks in different warehouses. They, they had no plan. They didn't know what to do, and Jimmy's just like, oh my god, I, I, I can't believe what's happening, and that's kind of what you were feeling. That's kind of what I was feeling. Yeah. That's kind of what a lot of us were. And um, that's that's the whole point. Um, yeah. We're fucked. And let's see if yeah. I can <laughs> put the, get, get that up now. Check this out. Because I do have, I enjoy it better than anything else. I enjoy it. Oh, I enjoy it. <laughs> and I like it better than anything else. All right. But now I can actually tell it instead. To look to a different uh where's the yes yes good good all right here we go um here we we're, go. Gonna, uh, we're gonna fuck up some spoken fucked. word next we're gonna do power to <laughs> winning thanks reed we're um yeah we're gonna do powder keg which i've i've never done on anything before um and uh it, it felt best to do it uh to do it spoken word um the sample that runs in the back of this song it was really hard to get because it was windy as tits outside but there was a huge huge flock of birds circling over and over uh around my backyard and I was outside with my son. I was like, I gotta, I gotta get the mic and record this because they were just super vocal. So I stood out there and shielded with the mic and uh, as best as I could, got uh, got these birds 
and compress the hell out of it to get it to actually make it at, at all onto the the song but um powder keg was uh me doing kind of a a me too song uh where it's it's mother nature and uh and mankind and uh Cool. Yeah, right, well, it's one me... of my favorite, it's one of my favorite songs on on Virus. It's a very uh, very chill instrumental, and it was actually uh, the song I wrote on uh, 420 of that year, which I actually reference at the end of the end of the piece. So, oh, look at that! So, uh, and I shout just... out to my my brother did the artwork for the Virus inauguration gift and Geiger Age, and all I told him was I want the Capitol building oozing some sort of dark icor and a big covid spore above it you know and like attached to it and what he gave me is just wow. so so much more tumory and like if you zoom in on parts of that it's i mean he he is a tattoo artist he he only works in black ink and he did my my b and like his his line work is really detailed and you can see the tiny little you know it's it's just oh, the a detail, it's insane out so much and uh, when he first sent me what he had, I was like, oh, my God, I just sat there. I was just floored by it. And even though it's not my, you know, obviously it was me. You can hear me learning how to mix better with GarageBand as I go, because the beginning songs and the end songs, there's a clear difference in, in quality. <laughs> uh, but, man, I want to see that on vinyl so bad. I want to hold that album cover on a fucking vinyl. <laughs> like, I want to see that on a, you know, full size. That um, reminds me of, like, a P-Funk cover where, like, the one with, with the, where the worms are coming out of her head. Like, like yeah. that kind of, like, yeah. shocking. Yeah. And that's just a sketch of it. Like, can you imagine if it's fully produced? I know. Like, I know. wow. And that's so. And that's the same COVID spore, obviously, for the inauguration gift cover he mm -hmm. used that mm -hmm. and um and my friend sophie uh incorporated that for uh the cover for the coming of spring because my brother at the time was so backed up with tattoo appointments like i couldn't throw another project in his lap <laughs> especially because he won't let me like pay him for stuff he's just like you, you know here's here's your thing and so i i had already taken too much but man the cover for that and inauguration gift again, it's just like, he took what I, I said and just gave me something that was so, so, uh, so phenomenal. Um, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, here we go. This is, uh, this is powder keg. Okay. If women are the fairer sex, men must be the fouler sex for when triggered, we undoubtedly have vocal bouts of powder keg. We designed the physical embodiment of liberty, an irony of ironies. We chose to represent it using feminine imagery being grounded. Freedom rooted to the spot, liberty without her legs. Because what does a man like more than a woman always carrying a torch for you? But holding it, you'll only want to touch it, and the flame will come to torture you. Some of us don't know what we do. Some of us swear that we don't, but of course we do. Men are quick to fetishize fortitude. But God forbid we see it in a woman or we're bent on destroying you. Because men are by nature competitive. Man is by nature becoming irrelevant. After we're gone, we'll live on in the soil through only unnatural elements. I lost a bet with myself because my child was born in a world that still had a few elephants. Man is a toxin whose washing to see is no bother to me and will hardly be seen with a shimmer of sentiment. Nature has seen that we're all an impediment nature is shaking us loose nature is digging us out by the roots and it's all for her betterment we've pulled the cord on shedding so many species from the earth maybe it's our turn to shed a bit when i try to view it as karma for all of our slaughters i feel a little calmer accepting my death a bit covid19 is a precipice and nature will push us or finally cave and keep paying our benefits but we can't overstay our welcome and then try to bribe our way into extending it if nature is saying time's up, we are in the role of the powerful oppressor who needed to be held to a standard that was better, who is easily doubted if for no other reason than their power. But looking at our record, it's apparent we have a long unhealthy pattern of wasting what matters, of poisoning the seas and the soil of the pastures, the peace of the dark of the night. Only mankind has made dimmer all the stars in the sky, littered far corners with shrapnel of satellites. 
caused more extinction than you could ever tabulate or quantify. So if we're up next, I'm not saying that it doesn't suck, only that we qualify. Have a great day. Live an honest life. Hold all your loved ones tight. Nothing's ever guaranteed, only that our dead will eventually be canonized. This will go down as a war between insurers and those not willing to be sacrificed. That's my time. Back to our lives while we have our lives. Captain's Log 4 2020. I'm an optimist as ever, but I marinate in too much truth to ever truly feel sterilized. Captain's Log 4 2020. Honey, that's my time. Honey, that's, that's my right. time. I, <laughs> I, I remember that's that's at the end of another song, I yep. seem to recall. <laughs> Is that at the end of Sunday morning, number 40? Um, no, because that cuts no, off abruptly. That... What is it? There's uh that's right. Uh oh, Sunday, oh that's uh, what... is, it, is it great experiment? Uh, yes, it's therapy? the end of your right. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's a great experiment. They're usually like back to back in the playlist. That's another that, one I realized hear. I've never played great experiment on, on this show. Is it's that right? I, oh I, I, I can't. So wait that'll for be that. uh, it's crazy is before we know it, it'll be Fuck the two year anniversary of inauguration gift. So I'm gonna have to do something like I don't know. I've I've still never tried to do my songs with like the actual instrumental playing. And it'd be really fun to hook up my bows and do that, do an actual like live stream, play the whole record, or sit and do a listening party with it. Because God, honestly, one of the most fun times I ever had was when we did the listening party for the grift. That was such a blast. Um so yeah, that's there's a there's a lot of a lot of ideas there, but I missed uh, I missed the virus uh, anniversary, and I'm not going to do that with this next album. So nice. Let's uh, let's get into scraps. This was once I was I was tired of playing nice and hoping for better, and just being like I'm not I'm not going to vote for this piece of shit. You guys can all get excited for him. And, you know, bite the bullet and do the lesser evil thing, but I'm not going to do it. And it was also the first song uh, that my dad heard and he was like, oh, this is disappointing. (laughs) 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 Some killer samples in here. Um, Stephen fucking Miller. Uh, piece of shit. Uh, Kellyanne mm. Conway, piece and um, <laughs> what that one? Uh, Rorsch, 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 Dana, Rohrbacker. Uh, yeah. Um, the uh, this is absurd. <laughs> the place in this song is her. <laughs> uh, all right. Um. <laughs> This is one that every time I I mess around with the song, I'm reminded that I I desperately need to get around to recording my uh, acoustic variants uh, album because this is one of those songs that I want to I want to record a, an acoustic version of desperately. Sweet. So here we go. This is scraps. <laughs> down to the ground and see it swallowed by the snow maybe the open mind is a void where nothing ever really grows maybe you're outside and i'm in the confines of what i know but i lost my voice out here and without it i am never going Never going home. Never going. Our voices being stolen. 
after me, capital steps, eyes swollen, carrying a sign reading, we are being lied to. If healthcare for all was a full nude, Mitch McConnell's only giving side boob. <laughs> only making promises to wave a little hope right in your face and then deny you. So pardon me if I would rather burn my fucking vote to defy you. And I hope it makes you hate me, makes you feel like I'm just wasting any chance of bringing change. But I am not complicit in what brought us to this place. And I will not support us being further led astray. And I don't care the color hearse that carries us away. The filth on both the blue and red makes just a sickly gray. And it sickens me to witness just how quickly we obey. How quickly we accept the meager scraps that fall our way. Scraps supposed to last us 30 days. Scraps that barely cover bills that can't be paid. And scraps that couldn't pay for Nancy's chocolate for a day. And all the thoughts and prayers in the world can't fix it. Cause I'm drowning in my thoughts and I don't fucking pray. If this is where you tell me that's the problem, there's the door, pal. Thanks for staying. And if Jill's right, all you have to do is just swallow And you can play the game In that case, Jill, I won't be playing So how about you save your blame And try to change somebody who still doesn't know which way they're swaying I won't vote for a rapist, that's all I'm saying And when they asked if I had any last words Honey, I did my impression of a spectator at Wimbledon Back and forth, back and forth. I hope that answers your question, you simpleton. <laughs> Perception down to the ground and see it swallowed by the snow. Or maybe the open mind is a void where nothing ever really grows. Maybe you're outside and I'm in the confines of what I know. Well, I lost my voice out here and without it I am never going home. Never going home. Never going home. I love that one. That scraps. Scraps. Oh, wait! I wasn't muted that whole time. I thought my mic was muted. Okay, I thought you were. Here. I usually mute my mic during. Weird. I thought you said I was muted. I go oh, shit. No, no, no. You sound awesome. <laughs> Actually, Cynic was saying I need to turn you up. Yeah, I won't burp. I won't burp. Uh, dude, that's great. I love that. I tried to deliver that with the implied stupid claps in between the words that people do on a tweet. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing a lot of people do. I won't vote for a fucking pedophile or something like that. And mm-hmm. Like, I was like, you know what? I really want to try to do that in lyric. Let's try to get one of those across. That's awesome. Um, again, we are on the rock bin. We, uh, I can put that chat up on screen. We are also monetized on INN for Rockfin, so you guys can hook us up if you want to leave a tip. Again, we 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 do this for free because we love doing it and we have a good time. Everybody wants to everybody wants to hook us up with some streaming costs. That we appreciate it. Totally not necessary. We know it's tough times right now, so. Uh, especially for some people that have had people in the hospital lately. So I don't want to talk right. anything about that, but uh, yeah. So if anybody wanted to, to to drop a couple of bucks in the guitar case, it certainly wouldn't hurt things. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> um, anyway, it is, we've got a couple more tunes. I know. Um, um, I'm thinking him to the expendable. I've only played this maybe on one stream before. Um, one of my first, uh friends i made on twitter because of town hall was uh, a lady in texas um who goes by open mind texas is i think she's still not as active as she used to be she's one of those people who kind of hit her twitter limit but she had um she had posted about her daughter early in the pandemic having like being told hey actually we need you to come work this job and this was in the you know first couple of weeks um and she said something to the effect of, you know, 
sending sending your kid off to work and and knowing that they're making such a, a pitiful wage and uh and that they're just you know expendable that they're just being treated as someone that's just you know are essential and expendable were such a, a fine line it still are um mm. and her tweet ended up getting picked up by uh, a couple news articles and uh and you know, used as an example of of someone speaking out about uh, about us us being you know fodder, and uh, and I ended up writing this song, which um, of everything on the virus, uh, I I wish I had uh, fleshed out the mix for this one a little more. Um, this one was literally the day that I was uploading everything for Spotify and everything. I I, uh, I listened back to this one and I'm like, I forgot to put a bass in this song. So all of a sudden I'm like l- literally adding a bass line in <laughs> again, full Kanye West style, frantically making changes to the record right before it goes live. Uh, but um, yeah, this is another one that uh, that I'll want to really do justice for on the uh, the acoustic album that I'll be doing uh, some sometime soon. This is called Him for the Expendable. Oh, we're in drop D still. That won't work. sick about her daughter because when she starts her shift she set adrift on dark uncharted waters and you can say that she's some hero but her mom will tell you that she's just another lamb that's being sent to slaughter and that she'll be damned to see her baby girl be someone else's fodder and if it has to burn then let it burn she could smile at the shock on all the faces of you people who could not be bothered who couldn't think outside your sphere of needs and problems, who shrug off someone else's fears and cannot feel enough to grieve another's losses. They won't want to be around when the oppressed rewrite the message, cause it's eat the rich and skin your bosses. Fuck around and find out. You can try to earn a vote or you can burn a vote and count your losses. But what you pass off as unity is truly something nauseous, truly something toxic to a cause so truly conscious. God, look at what we're fighting for. Look inside the heart of who we fought to put in office. And ask yourself just what could be in someone else's heart that makes them fight to try to stop this. Or what makes them think that they could stop this. What a time to be so needed, and what a time to be so used. I didn't know I was a soldier till the sacrifice was over. I didn't get to choose. I didn't get to choose. Bada boom. Yeah, that slap that that definitely slaps as a acoustic. I like that. Mm -hmm. Aim for the expendable. Yeah, no, that that fits really nicely. All right. 
we are <laughs> we're on to complicit Milano. This <laughs> oh god, this song was fun to do. Uh the best <laughs> maybe the best part. <clears throat> So obviously, I mean, I don't need to give you guys a whole lot of background to why Alyssa Milano is a piece of shit. But uh, when I realized that I wanted to do a song for her, well, about her, I shouldn't say for her. Um, once she was uh, ignoring Tara Reid, like she was, uh, like like so many people did. Um, well, she had more stake than just about anyone with her husband, like being yeah. involved with Times Up and the whole right? like. He was literally like, yeah, inspiring with the person that was undermining the entire thing. So we knew, yeah, like mm -hmm. literally turned out to rip the mask off and be the Scooby Doo villain. Like, oh my God, it was Alyssa <laughs> Milano the whole time. Yep. Holy shit. And Deborah so, Messing, so, uh, too. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. You gotta warn me before you say her name out loud. So when I realized I wanted to do a song about Alyssa Milano, um, <laughs> I decided that I was like, I want to mention one one terrible film that she was in, right? And I didn't even get to scroll down the list because I didn't <laughs> need to. Because top of the list, there's. Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2. Was, oh, I'm not going to find There's I'm sorry. There's a sequel. It's not going to be better than that on this list. And uh, oh, to this day, sequel. I still haven't looked. Maybe there is. Maybe I'll do another Alyssa song and, and I'll need it. But um, yeah. And then I also decided uh, this is the time to use mansplaining as a weapon. And uh mansplain to an actor what an actor is uh it just felt right so um yeah this is this is complicit milano top of the heap according to cynic and i'm sure that's a line in there somewhere that technically all of these count as part of the song because the sound of me hitting the apple is in almost every song on the virus Love you guys. Seriously, thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, this is okay. This is um this was the first of many like straight up diss tracks. I'm like, okay, let's let's do a whole song about one person and just really hit them hard. So yeah, Alyssa, if you're watching, I've still never gotten my cease and desist letter, and I, I want to frame it. do now that all that Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2 money ran out and that wave you rode from me too didn't pan out who knew you could shrink your spine down and shift in your seat and just switch where you stand now but no I'm sure it's all worth it for your big fat handout just don't get caught around Joe with his hands out with his eyes elsewhere his tongue out, his pants down. You chose to take the word of one man who gladly held civil rights ransom over countless women who have been touched and sniffed and grabbed and whispered to on camera. Not to mention one staffer who found herself out of a job when she wouldn't accept his advances. Not that it stopped him from forcing his hands cause he was a powerful man and he assumed that she thought he was handsome. Now what was it you said about giving all victims their chances? About trusting the courage of those who would speak in the face of such monstrous detractors? Trusting the stories of women abused in a system that sees them as actors? See Alyssa, an actor is someone who's paid to portray different characters. Sometimes dramatic, comedic, absurdist, or sometimes a rape defense strategist. So based on the size of this check, is the payoff exceeding all your averages? Shit, I guess that it would have to be. Look at all the people you've been taking such advantage of. I don't 
think anybody decent could sleep in the night knowing they sold out sex abuse victims months after standing with them months after saying that we needed to embrace their decisions to speak and not be surprised when people just believe what they read find themselves quickly misled find themselves saying that they don't believe now just how much money to make up a loophole where you can save face while betraying your scruples just how much money to trample your morals and paddle a possible pedophile with a straight face like you're loyal Warren's just a garden snake, Alyssa is a cobra in the soil. From the venom in her mouthpiece, straight through the cold blood coursing through her coils. And I hope that she hears this and somehow it gets to her more than the rest and she positively boils. So if you see her spitting venom, man, you can't blame a desperate snake trying to sell a little oil. Cause times are tough and time is up for senators and royals. Ignore all the Epstein connections and inner circle yacht parties held by your employers. Alyssa says it's fine, so you should say it's fine, or she might call her lawyer. And I would hang that cease and desist on the wall like some trophy of war. A piece of a country I entered unseen and I left its destroyer. Cause it's a victory to me if I'm up under your skin and you're reaching for the pliers. Pretend like I'm a voyeur, show me the fire. Now once for the record, Alyssa Milano, I have called you an overplayed liar. Just called her an overplayed liar, which was hilarious. <laughs> that was great. Oh man. Um, I almost want to hear like <laughs> like how could you Susan? It's like it's like the Alyssa Milano <laughs> Susan Sarandon back double feature, you know. Oh shit. And by the way, we got we got a, a new fan and a Craddock Crow found found our channel. Glad that you did. And then he's here. He's like, who's who's this rooster dude? And that I like that rooster thing. That thank you. That's awesome. I appreciate that. I'm Indy. I'm the Bong Father. Hey, how you doing? I got this guy sitting next to me, Jesse Chad. He's the lyrical talent. He's amazing. He's musical genius. And 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 he work he works in a in a distillery, right? In a uh, a combination uh, of brew, brewery and distillery. It's a giant beer a beer in the beer industry right and and he sits on his on the forklift and he's inspired to write and all the songs are recorded in his car when he records albums it's it's absolutely freaking remarkable and again it, i want to put this guy in a studio with a band and mu and musicians and like worthy of this talent and oh my god i can't wait to hear what comes out of that cynic says the same thing Finnick is the Jesse super fan and friend, of course. Jesse has been playing music for, God, I don't even know how long. Um, but I, I was lucky enough, you know, yeah. Jesse joined INN back in March. And uh, and he told me what he wanted to do for, for a show. And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. Like, just like a play some tunes, write some tunes maybe, and go through some kind of like an open format, engage with the audience. That's that's awesome. Uh, I like, and I, I want you to host him. R really? Okay. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's the best. Sign me up. Where where do I go? Hell yeah. And so uh and so this is American tradition. So I'm the host and the producer and this guy is the star and the talent and he writes and it's all about him and I'm just like here to enjoy and hang and and run the run the stuff and push the buttons. So that's that's my job tonight. I have a good time doing it and breaking down some songs cuz I do love listening to this guy's music and his lyrics are amazing. So thank you dude. Thank you seriously. So oh, this, yes. Go ahead. Sorry. this next one, um, I really, I didn't know if anyone was gonna, gonna like this song. I thought this might be the one that is just kind of for me. And, uh, especially cause I, I went in a weird direction musically, um, the, the melody and some of the instrument use was supposed to evoke this kind of revolutionary war vibe to it. Um, uh, and 
it, it turned out to be a song easily the one that people ask for the most. If someone's asking for a song in chat, they ask for Militia Intent. And uh, I, n I never thought that would be the case. It makes me so happy. So, yeah, this is. Uh... Oh, hang on. Now we got to do it. Yeah, let's um, let's throw in Susan's random chats talking Susan's random song. So we got to I want to I want to pepper this in real quick. I know we've played this on here before, but it's it's such a short song. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so I watched an awful lot of people shit on Susan Sarandon and blame her for everything under the sun. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to write a song where I'm blaming Susan for ludicrous things that obviously she couldn't be at fault for. And a whole bunch of people still thought I was being serious because people won't won't listen the whole, the whole way through something. Um, I figured if I'm blaming her for wildfires and floods that people have to know I'm I'm kidding. But there is no nuance to be had on the old bird app. And uh, yeah, so... Here we go. This is this is for this is for Susan. This is called How Could You Susan. I remember well the golden age 2015 feeling like the world would be okay till Susan came along and just to suit her selfish needs she went and tanked the Hillary campaign So you can go thank Susan for those nightmare years of Trump You can thank her when he wins in 24 And if I had the chance I'd ask why she won't cancel debt Oh, why she made inflation simply soar I'd say, how could you, Susan, just throw us to the wolves? And why'd you let those wildfires burn? Oh, why'd you make Joe Biden take back every single promise he made back when he still had votes to earn? How could you condemn us to a ruling fascist hand? And how much did they pay you for your part in Putin's plan? How could you destroy us with such reckless, cold abandon, Miss Sarandon? How could you? I have oh, almost all the I have almost all the <laughs> lyrics in my head. I was singing along like I've got almost all of them down. It's really it's so good, so damn funny. It's it's great to see the look on somebody's face the first time they hear those words. Oh, you can't ever get that back. It's just it's nah. So good. All right, now for something completely different. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is uh this is this is militia intent. <laughs> And keep giving us nothing and think we're bluffing about coming for your hands. Why play civil if you wouldn't listen to 50,000 dead? Now we know our mission, we form a militia, make Congress a prison. So why play civil when all these dead won't make you listen? What's more American than slaying your oppressors? What's more American than liberty or death first? God, I thought we were founded on abolishing the tyranny of those who would starve a village all to live empirically. 
And I regret that I have only one life to give for my cause Now that I can see the cause so clearly See, I want our leaders, regardless of party, to fear me Cause I will pick my targets and assassinate them lyrically I will bring them out into the town square Hook them to the pillory and leave them there And Hillary, I'll see you there <laughs> Oh, Hillary, I'll see you there. You can keep giving us nothing and think we're bluffing about coming for your head. So I please civil when you listen to a hundred thousand dead. And now we know our mission. We form a militia, make Congress a prison. So I please civil when all these dead won't make you listen. Welcome to the fantasy of rhetoric. Honey, welcome to the last of the free speech while we can get it. And I promise you can get it. All you corporate Democrats and second wave Confederates, GOP illusionists and neo-Nazi bureaucrats. And Stephen fucking Miller, I will see you in the aftermath. When all the laws are dust, there's just moral justice after that. And I would hunt you through the wasteland if it comes to that So I could rub you in the dirt like a cheap human Brillo pad I could sleep fine if our beds are burning, Stephen But I'll turn around and run into the blaze to get my pillow back As long as I can lay my head down, I can live with that I can deal with a little ash Cause I could feel like a little of the old me burn with the bed and the rest of my past the old world where we all lived and we can't get back The old world where you didn't give and you'd still get back Where you could rake in 12 billion and give none back While those days are behind us, the virus will kill all of that Your wealth is behind us and kindness is meant for the past Our leaders would bind us and starve us and call it a fast A sacrament meant for their god that they garnish in cash and they feed it the poor by the hundreds, that's all that it asks. Its hunger is legion and people in need are all it will have. Our only chance is to starve it and watch as it turns on them. You can keep giving us nothing and think we're bluffing about coming for your head. Can keep giving us nothing and think we're bluffing about coming for your hands. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, militia intent off the virus. And Cynic says that's your fight song. Sure. That's our fight song. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm I'm actually digging powerless as a fight song personally, especially like yeah. the last the last but the last verse um mm -hmm. <laughs> and and yeah that that gets me fired the fuck up intensifying fear of knowing revolutions <laughs> that, that yep. song just gets me fired up you know because you aren't because we aren't damn it so yeah i, I might get that tattooed on me just because we aren't i'm very i'm very tempted <laughs> um dude when i saw that there was a song on this called biden's hairy leg i almost spit out my drink <laughs> and i'm like is that is that like a tribute to lauren to, to elbert yeah. oh yeah. i love her shout out to lauren yeah. uh she she's uh i don't even know what what her twitter handle is but i i just know her as biden's hairy leg on yeah. twitter and, and she's over on the Instagrams too, and we're friends on Discord, and she's fantastic. And uh, she runs a leftist Twitter space where they they hang out and do game nights on Friday night. I mean, I do a leftist Discord where they do game nights, and it's kind of chill and a no conflict zone. I love it. Um, so that's hilarious. <clears throat> Biden's hairy leg. That's great. So we'll wrap it up with. Um one of the first songs this was probably the fourth song that i wrote for the record because we weren't long into quarantine when john prine passed and uh 
I mean, I'm a, a songwriter. It's it's hard to not uh, appreciate and be influenced by John Prine. Um, but uh, within a, a couple hours, I, I'd seen a thing on uh, Twitter where his his wife was talking about the last bit of time she spent with him, and she said something like, "You're when someone you love passes, you're obligated to replay everything together and go through." all the good and all the bad. And it's just something that you, you owe that person. Um, and that, that hit me hard. And I ended up uh, writing this that night. This is uh, this is called song for John. I have to die when it isn't my time. Wither in my prime, thanks to COVID-19. I'd wake up on the other side and meet John Prime, who'd have a song finished, or at least a couple lines, and I could shake his hand. And for the first time in about 30 days, I would feel like that was fine. That's a long way to travel for a simple thing to find. A little human contact that used to pass us by. The little social contracts suspended in the ice. Where we last saw friends. Where we last touched hands. Where we last lived our lives. And I don't think it's reaching to say I won't be the same beyond tonight. <laughs> so give my love to John and tell him I'll keep writing songs until I die. I had to relive the little things we said. song for john oh that's that's pretty so like between all of our shows you've played like most of this album most I, would think. Of it. I haven't done um because i even did domestication as a spoken word piece so i haven't done violet masks off chips or tumors that's probably it so four out of the 24 that we haven't done, but everything general? else. General? Did, yeah. did you do general? Oh, I don't general. No. general. God damn it. No. General. I have done look fat. Um, I don't general, remember COVID uh, Cabana either because I, oh, I read that title right. and I laughed at that. I was <laughs> like, oh, I don't it. remember that. Man, the, uh, and again, you know what, what's, what's, uh, I, what I love and, and hate about the virus is that it's, it's representative of me changing a lot of, of opinions. Um, the very beginning, we're right into quarantine, and I'm taking the CDC's word at face value and mm. until I realize that you shouldn't, you know? And so it's like this weird, all of a sudden, uh, all of our gigs are canceled, and we're just kind of waiting to see what's what's happening. And half of my friends were living in abject fear and washing their mail, and half of my friends were out living their lives and trying to do their doing their thing unless a place told them they couldn't. And it was just so bizarre, especially when I'm a, a parent, like, you, you know, obviously you don't want to fuck up, but it's like, what, where are you supposed to, you know, feel like you're getting uh, re reliable information from? And uh, right. that's all the more reason once I found people on, on Twitter saying something different and then I'm watching them get silence left and right. I'm like, that's, that's, you know, that's not just misinformation. That's someone's, someone's taking this opinion down for a reason. And 
that's when I start paying more attention. And thank God now I follow the kind of independent media that I do, you know? Well, um, CNN was always right, weren't they? <laughs> Um, but there are songs that I, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't go back and change the lyrics, but they obviously don't all represent my opinion now. Um, in, uh, I mean, COVID Cabana was kind of me looking at the people that were still doing their thing. And it's like, do you, are you, do you, do you guys not care? Or are you not worried? Should I not be worried? Like, <laughs> um, I was like everybody on the beach in Florida in early in early April. Like COVID's ripping around yeah. for three weeks. Everything's shut down in Florida. They're at spring break. Like, yeah. Like, okay. And that was the festival back in the town I used to live in was the seafood festival was on. They were going and Florida was doing their thing, you know. Um COVID Cabana, uh from a production standpoint, I was like, I'm gonna replace my snare with a castanet. And I'm going to send that castanet to the fucking moon. That is castanet porn of the the highest degree. There are so many, like, it's ridiculous. But I uh, I love I love the instrumental. There's also a little, uh, uh, I can't say it too loud, but there's a there's a sample from M.A.S.H. on that song. Uh-oh. Uh, no DMCA. <laughs> Facebook will catch but, it. I'm telling you, they, there they're are, unbelievable. There are several... Uh, uncleared samples that i snuck into the virus that i i can't um obviously can't go divulging or i'd have to kill you all uh mm. but they may or may not be the contortionist michael mcdonald afi and the cranberries um tiny little bits that are so obscure that like a they wouldn't be recognizable and then they're pitched down and backwards and all all Calculated, but um i quit messing around with it after the fact just because i was terrified that like someone would you know use that against me um turns out for samples unless you're trying to sell physical media or trying to sell beyond some amount it's it's such a like they don't give a shit um but Again, once I'm doing the kind of political music that I'm doing and poking the bear, that would be a weak spot. If someone wanted to try to bring me down, they'd be like, hey, that's murder. And then all of a sudden I'd be, you know, getting some some ridiculous copyright claims. So the virus was the only album where I messed around with uh, samples that weren't taken from a news clip or or something. Um, BC but, yeah, Boy it, style. Exactly. That reminds me of like, like <laughs> B-Boys. Like, like I, I was, look, I grew up on on those guys i love them to death and the way they mixed and what they sampled yeah but even before that like like ryman seal mixing led zeppelin i had never even heard anyone think yep. to consider sampling and mixing yep. led zeppelin into a hip-hop what, mississippi type queen of... they they sampled mississippi queen there was uh, there's like, just so much yeah that's so fantastic. much l- musical talent in that in those three guys i mean yeah, and they were about yep. 10 years older than me, but I just watched this, and they just evolved and continued to evolve into yeah. Check Your Head and then Ill Communication and their their yep. arc and their, wow. Yep. Um, Dude, I was like, so heartbroken when MCA died. Like, uh, uh, that hurt. Their last album, like their last single that it dropped, it was like the Hot Sauce Committee Volume 2, yep. and they, they did that, yep. uh, that, that video where they had all these like old, it was great video. Oh, it was fantastic! It really um, was. And and then yep. that and and then that was it. And I was like, "Yep, really." And then I watched that yep. that that thing on Apple Music and falling through oh, that. Yeah. And yep. um, yeah, that was that was awesome. Uh, so uh, Cynic is asking for us to play from Bandcamp. Um, what are we playing, Violet? Just right, right off of here, and we can do that real, real easy. Just drop it in a presenter mode. Yeah, let's do it. So, Violet, I when I was playing these songs for the few people close to me that I felt safe playing them for, when my brother who did the album cover heard the chorus for "Hooky," he said it kind of reminds me of Militia Intent. It feels like it's in that same same little thing. I was like, really? And then I listened to it. I'm like you could, it was like, you could actually overlay those. And so the, um, 
the outro for it i i did i overlaid um i overlaid the two choruses together and it works really well in fact i'd love to do a, like a remix where I, I do that for longer um it also starts with uh um oh, what is the sample in the beginning uh my knuckles cracking and a turkey call that's how the song starts sure knuckles crack knuckles cracking and a turkey call because why not why not yep okay all right well we're gonna play violet now and uh and then we'll be back in three minutes sure. and six seconds If a hospital is in need of more PPE, there's no reason that they can't buy it. It's a business owner's call if they choose to enforce mask use to stay compliant. You know, a lot of deaths are vitamin deficiency related, so they probably had a poor diet. It's a lot like the flu, but the media is conspiring to keep that quiet. You won't catch me on the CDC site Catching up on guidelines I'll be choosing faith over science I'll be at the beach if you need me But six sharp gotta get home From my two grand Zoom call Live with the Bidens At the end they ask the middle class Leave the room a moment While they lay bare the next phase Of unrestrained police violence And silent They say no man is an island when you're drowning all alone, then it clicks that you either were one of us castaways crafting a signal or one of the many oblivious pilots. And we could burn every palm we can find, but they won't ever open their eyes because they fly over right around five when the sun fights right through your eyelids. So it's just a long, slow trail of goodbye left behind as the orange turns violet. So it's just a long, slow trail of goodbye left behind as the orange turns violet. So it's just a long, slow trail of goodbye left behind as the orange turns violet. So it's just a long, slow trail of goodbye left behind as the orange turns violet. So it's just a long, slow trail of goodbye left behind as the orange turns violet. So it's just a long, slow trail of goodbye. You can Every keep day, giving like us nothing and like think we're bluffing about no coming for your time. Why play civil no when you won't listen to a hundred thousand dead? And now, now we know we our lie. mission, we form a militia, make Congress a prison. Life. So why play lie. civil when all these dead won't make you listen? Won't make you listen. Violet off of the virus, as you see here by Jesse Jett. This guy sitting right above me, or actually now right next to me. And uh, that has been tonight's episode of American Tradition. This thing goes so damn fast every week. Like, hour and... Are you muted? Did you mute yourself? Sorry. Oh, yeah. I did. You were muted. Hey. It totally does. Like, how did an hour and a half just go by all of a sudden? Just... Yeah, like, we're an hour 22. Okay, Cynic saying COVID Cabana. COVID Cabana. Too fast. Too ah. fast. Uh, we're we're going to do... Maybe we'll do COVID Cabana. Like, we'll do another five track. Um, yeah, well, I want to leave some, some remaining, stuff to do. Yeah, uh, remaining stuff. So, yeah, we yeah. definitely want to want to do something like that live. Um, and, yeah. Two more weeks, we'll be back. 
And we'll be back on yeah, INN next time on Indie News Network, YouTube.com slash Indie News Network. <laughs> we have gotten the ban hammer for one week and we're not allowed to stream yeah. there. But that's why we're over here on YouTube.com slash IND Left News. Thank you so much for coming over and checking it out over here. Like, share, subscribe, share this stream. I should have said that when we started, but I'm so jazz and geek to get going that I completely forget <laughs> and I get right. lost in stories. I know, me too. Share this stuff out. Make sure more people see it. Um, they, it's so much fun to, to just kind of hang out, chill out, and cut loose. And by the way, Thank shout out guys. to Big Man Crab for the episode thumbnail. I want to show you guys what that right? looks like. Boom! Really and again, sweet. like that album and all of my my albums wouldn't have happened had people not responded like they did to the first song. And while there are an awful lot of people that ideologically we have kind of uh, separated. Since then, there are still so many people from the very beginning that I'm still super close with. And I have really made such uh, amazing friendships with so many really genuine, like-minded people that I love really dearly. And uh, a, a lot of you guys are here tonight and, and every night. And it just, it really means the world to me. So uh, yeah. you're you're all equally responsible and complicit in my discography. So thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um we don't really have like a. <gasps> that's like our a, sign off. Honestly, that's I feel like once we say that, we've said it all. Like an like an outro or anything. So I always just say to always question everyone's motivations and keep doing that and don't stop. Doesn't matter who they are. So for sure. And I say I say don't do drugs unless you're just bored. <gasps> <Hit it>! Everybody. <laughs>